visit the grave of a friend of mine and as I walked through the graveyard I noticed this man kneeling down by the grave of a child and in his hand he held a big red rose and tears were streaming down his cheeks I walked over and laid a hand on his shoulder and started to talk to him and during the course of our conversation and in his broken English this is the story, just as he told it to me. He said, oh, Mr. I'm a walking down the street of today and I pass by a bigger flower shop. I walk in and I ask the man in the shop, I say, boss, how much is for one the red rose? And he looked at me with one bigger frown and he says, the one a dollar, please. But in a buy and a buy, a swell dressed a blonde young lady walk in and she says, so how much of a wonder red rose? And he looked at her with one of biggest smile, and he says, a ten of cents. And then I said, a boss, how come are you charging me a dollar for the rose? You charge the young lady only ten cents. And he says, look, mister, you tell me why you want the rose, and maybe I'll give it to you for not. And then I said, a boss, I'm a hard worker, man. Working the railroad and don't make too much of money. And I got a little girl and her name is Rosa. Oh, Rosa's just about this high, boss. Every day when I come home from my work, a little Rosa come running to meet a papa. And she throw her little arms around my neck and say, Papa, and I'd say Rosa. Oh, but I wonder day a boss will come home from my work and I don't see Rosa. I look her down by the railroad track and I see one the bigger crowd. I go down and I push the crowd this way and I push the crowd that way and there boss at my feet. Lay my little Rosa. <laughs> That's why I want the Rosa, boss. I want to put him on little Rosa's grave. The man he don't say a lot. But he pick the biggest and the reddest rose and he give it to me. And I say, thank you, boss. Thank you very much. And though she's gone, you see, she's still the world to me. To me, she'll all.
the first truck I drove. I was so proud I could hardly wait to get home to show my wife and little boy. And my little boy was so excited like when he saw his first snow. He wasn't old enough to say too many words. He just kept a hollering, giddy up go daddy, giddy up go. So that's what I named old truck, giddy up go. Oh, things wasn't too bad. Of course, I was gone an awful lot. And after about six years, I got home one day and found my wife and little boy gone. And I couldn't find out what happened. Nobody seemed to know. So from that day on, it's just been me and old giddy up go. Oh, I've made a lot of friends at all the truck stops. Some of them were kidding me about my little son. Of course, they knew where I'd got the name. Cause I told him about that little boy of mine and how his first word about the truck was giddy up go. Well, today I was barreling down old 66 when up beside me pulled a brand new diesel rig. Both stacks blowing black coal. And as he pulled around and back in front of me, a big lump came from the front. A little sign on the back of the truck that read, Giddy Up Go. Well, I pushed old Giddy Up and stayed right on him till the next truck stop where he pulled up. And I waited till he went in and I offered to buy him a cup. Well, we got to talking shop and I said, How'd you come by the name on your truck, Giddy Up Go? Well, he said, I, I got it from my pop. Dad used to drive a truck. That's what Mom talked about a lot. You see, I lost Mom when I was just past 16. And I lost all track of Pop. Mom said he got the name from me. Well, I shook his hand and told him I had something I wanted him to see. And I took him out to the old truck and brushed off some of the dirt so the name would show. And his eyes got big and bright as he read, Giddy Up Go. Oh, we had a lot of things to talk about, and buddy, I felt like a king. And now we've just pulled back on old 66, and he handled that rig better than any gear jammer that I'd ever seen. Well, now the lines on the highway have a much brighter glow as we go roaring down the road. Staring at little sign that reads, Giddy Up Go. I recall the night. That you came into this world I couldn't believe the doctor When he said it's a little girl oh, I said now doc You must be wrong You see I want a boy Then he laid you in my arms And my heart sang with joy Took you to a baseball game 
You brought along your baby doll and half its baby things. We sit there a playing house while the Dodgers played the Braves. And everyone in the bleachers looked at us as if to say, Took you on a fishing trip You said, Daddy, won't that hook hurt the fish's lip And you said, if they don't get air, those things in the can will die So we turned the worms loose and chased some butterflies Football. But I know the time has come that I must set you free. But no matter where you are, you know what you are to me. They had done. I told them they must learn to live right in this big old world and never be unfair to anyone. Then later on that day, I bought two little candy hearts. Teardrops in my eyes, I hurried home. I said, This is a symbol of the love in Daddy's heart, and I still love you, though you have done wrong. Then I got into trouble somewhere down. See that they found out some way. Oh, I guess somebody must have told those little girls of mine. Cause two hearts on a postcard came today. Two hearts on a postcard in the morning mail. Two hearts on a postcard To the county jail Little pencil drawings Made by 
by two uncertain hands Addressed by the postman At a little girl's command Well, Grandma had to rush the beans And Sis went out of picking greens The neighbors all dropped in, it seems The day the preacher come Now some folks walked and some folks rode But nobody come with a half a load They brung back things they never owed The day the preacher come They kept a moving back and forth Shaking hands, oh, praise the Lord out with hallelujahs roared the day the preacher come They clapped and sung and prayed some more And it looked like heaven, that's for sure Nobody guessed that we were poor the day the preacher come Well, the neighbors saw the city car And brung in vittles by the jar Watch then you know who your friends are The day the preacher comes Oh, it looks so good, the table set The preacher prayed and then they had I see it through the keyhole Yet the day the preacher comes They kept the moving back and forth Shaking hands, oh, praise the Lord The house with the hallelujahs roared The day the preacher come They clapped and sung and prayed some more And it looked like heaven, that's for sure But nobody guessed that we were poor The day the preacher come Go on, Ma said, and eat a lot There's plenty of chicken in the pot Poke salad greens was all I got The day the preacher come Oh, we locked the hound dogs in the shed And Ma baked up some biscuit bread What sobered up my Uncle Ned The day the preacher come They kept the moving back and forth Shaking hands, oh, praise the Lord The house with the hallelujahs roared The day the preacher come they clapped and sung and prayed some more It looked like heaven, that's for sure But nobody guessed that we were poor The day the preacher come The day the preacher come Oh, the day the preacher come In the state of Georgia some years ago Beneath a big tall pine tree a baby boy was born. The mother never awakened. Her spirit moved on. And that morning, just after dawn, some neighbors came along. And just like I was their own, they took me in and raised me. And it became a legend about me and the old pine tree. The old tree was my refuge when I needed a place to cry and listening to the winds toss her limbs about why sometimes it would make a sound that would almost make me freeze in a low whisper the old tree would say you belong to me oh there were days I used to run and play and climb the old tree almost to the very top cause you see I felt safe playing there the old tree and I talked a lot Why well, I can still remember my first date And how we ended up at the old pine tree We held hands and made plans for future things to be But suddenly, the old tree was restless And again I heard the whispers You belong to me Well, the years went by and I was grown And I wanted to see the world Seeking fortune and fame Oh, it was a long, hard road But soon it came And riches, it just seemed to fall my way And I'd always say It's just old lucky me And yet I recall in my lonely moments The whispers of the old pine tree But you know Life is not always full of roses 
because sometimes we hit some thorns. And I had this pain building up in my chest that just kept lingering on and on. So I finally went to see a doctor. And with a grim face, he broke the news. You've got about 90 days to live, son. Give or take a few. Oh, this can't be me. Why, I'm too full of life and fun. But suddenly, I heard the whispers of the old pine tree. Well, right then, I headed back to where I was born. Because, you know, it just seemed that with all the wealth that I had gained, the old tree meant the most to me. And as I drove to the spot where my life began, oh, I could hardly believe my eyes. The old tree was gone, and the ground was bare. And at that moment, I lost all hope with the old tree not being there. So I placed a marker, and then went back to town to buy that little piece of ground. And as I walked into that cold old building to make my final plans, there was something over in the corner that caught my eye. And for just a moment, I didn't understand. So I walked a little closer. Oh, my soul became at ease because from a big pine box came the whispers of the old pine tree saying, son, you belong to me. Is my daughter 
And the groom is my son I was out on the west coast Trying to make a buck And things didn't work out And I was down on my luck I got tired of roaming and bumming around so I started thumbing back east toward my hometown. Made a lot of miles the first two days, and I figured I'd be home in a week if my luck held out this way. But the third night I got stranded way out of town at a cold, lonely crossroads. Rain was pouring down. I was hungry and freezing and done caught a chill when the lights of a big semi topped the hill. Lord, I sure was glad to hear them air brakes come on. And I climbed in that cab where I knew it'd be warm. At the wheel sat a big man. He weighed about 210. He stuck out his hand and said with a grin, Big Joe's your name, and I told him mine. And he said the name of my rig is Phantom 309. Well, I asked him why he called his rig such a name. And he said, son, this old Mac can put them all to shame. Why, there ain't a driver or a rig or running any line that's seen nothing but taillights from Phantom 309. Well, we rode and talked for the better part of the night when the lights of a truck stop came in sight. He said, I'm sorry, son, but this as far as you go because I got to make a turn just on up the road. Well, he tossed me a dime as he pulled her in low and said, have yourself a hot cup on old Big Joe. When Joe and his rig roared out into the night, in nothing flat, he was clean out of sight. Well, I went inside and ordered me a cup, told the waiter Big Joe was setting me up. Ooh, you could have heard a pin drop. It got deathly quiet, and the waiter's face turned kind of white. Well, did I say something wrong? I said with a halfway grin. And he said, no, this happens every now and then. Why, well, I have a driver in your nose, Big Joe. But son, let me tell you what happened about 10 years ago. At the crossroads tonight where you flagged him down, there was a busload of kids coming from town. And they were right in the middle when Big Joe topped the hill. And it could have been slaughter. But he turned his wheels. Well, Joe lost control. Went into a skid and gave his life to save that bunch of kids. And there at that crossroads was the end of the line for Big Joe and Phantom 309. But every now and then some hiker will come by and like you, Big Joe will give him a ride. Here, have another cup and forget about the dime. Keep it as a souvenir from Big Joe and Phantom 309. birthday she's getting old and gray I wanted to be there with her but I'm too far away I close my eyes and see her standing in a mist oh how I wish that I was home to wish her happiness Seventy years ago today Was the day of my mama's birth And a better mama never lived On the face of God's green earth All the other kids are there With their hearts filled with glee And mama's happy too in a way but I know she misses me And I know the time that she'll miss me most 
and that's when they'll start to eat. Because every place will be filled but one. And that's the place that Mama saved for me. And as they bow their heads to offer thanks, well, I can hear my mama pray. Oh, Lord, why wasn't our other boy at home with us today? And now, as I sit here so lonesome, with my eyes filled with tears, I think of all the worries and the heartaches and the sorrows that I've caused mama through the years. But before I go to bed tonight, here's what I'll ask as I pray. Dear God, please let me be home next year for Mama's birthday. She knows I love her more than words can ever say. Oh, how I wish that I was home for Mama's birthday. I was on my way out to Phoenix and I stopped in a West Texas town to gas up the old truck and rest a bit and I thought I might do some browsing around. I asked the man at the truck stop what was happening in town. I like to kick up my feet. And he said, why, there's a band from the Grand Ole Opry that's playing right down the street. And the place was about three blocks away. And it looked like a used car lot. The music sounded prettier every step I took and got louder the closer I got. I paid my way in and pushed through the crowd to the bandstand way in the rear. And I was leaning on the rail by Hal Rugg and his steel guitar with a grin from ear to ear. And my attention was drawn to a little old man. And his hair was as white as snow. In one hand he held an old fiddle. And in the other hand was a bow. Well, at first I thought he was there with the band. But I soon saw what it was about. Why, he was a hounding the boys to let him sit in and the club owners wanting to throw the old man out. Yeah, soon the band took a break and the boys came down. The star, ah, yeah, you all know him well. He made his way over to the little old man through the screaming crowd and the yells. And he said, you know, I seem to recognize you, sir, but I don't quite recall your name. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Why, I was just a kid when you was at the height of your fame. Now hold on, son, the old man said. There's no use to waste your breath. Well, there's a modern trend in music today, and the fiddle has met its death. Why, there's not a soul in this crowd tonight that would even give me a hand. But son, I want to hear what a fiddle sounds like just one more time with the band. Soon the band came back and the star of the show, and the crowd fell still and quiet. For the little old man, he was introduced that night like never before, with the click of the strings and the touch of the bow and the count of one, two, three. Such a fiddling you've never heard before. It's something the whole world should see. Why, the crowd wouldn't let the old man quit. It was a night we'd never forget. And he played every number that they asked him to play until his clothes were just ringing with sweat. That night, I saw a genius at work, the touch of a true master's hand, for he had more talent in one little finger than the entire rest of the band. But I had to leave a few minutes before closing time to get a head start of the crowd. And I got my old truck back out on the highway, and inside I felt good and proud. I'm glad I didn't stay until they played the theme, for the morning papers all read. When the band played Good Night Little Sweetheart, the old fiddler fell dead.
I have no silver No diamonds or gold But I am far richer By the visions I hold Cause I've seen the mountains And I've seen the sea I've seen all the beauty And lived a life that was free When the cool autumn Shines down through the trees No place under heaven Would I rather be Where the wild birds are flying And the caribou Many places I've rambled But this is my home And when I am weary And it's time to rest Please take this old body place I love best Somewhere on the mountain Turn my face to the sea And let the wind in the treetops Sing me to sleep I've seen those mountains I've been to the sea And all of that beauty Is like heaven to me Where the wild birds are flying And a caribou road Many places I've rambled But this is my home Where the wild birds are flying And the caribou Places I've rambled, but this is my home. The guilty one is not always the one to take the blame. But the guilty one will be punished in some way just the same. I recall my only daughter and the night that she was taken away. And Lord, the guilty one has suffered until this very day. She and her boyfriend had been to their class party just before graduation but a crash on a curve just down the road ended their celebration 
Now, some say they'd been drinking because the bottle was found at the scene. And my first thought was, oh, Lord, who could have given liquor to these kids just 17? Well, I made some accusations of who the guilty one had been, like Joe down at the corner bar, or maybe one of their older friends. And at last, my accusing mind could no longer think. I went home, and to calm my nerves, I poured myself a drink. As I poured my drink, I noticed on the shelf there was a note. It was written by my daughter. And oh God, the words that she wrote. Dear Daddy, now you and Mom don't worry if we happen to be a little late, cause this is our last class party before we graduate. And Daddy, we didn't want to bother you while you were having your wrist. And we knew you wouldn't mind if we took a bottle of your best. Thank you, Daddy. And so, after making all those accusations about who the guilty one might be, when the sad truth was learned, the guilty one was me. That comes up every morning You've been the bluebird That's on my windowsill Down through the years You know I've always needed you Down through the years I've loved you And I always will Down through the years You've made my life a living dream Down through the years You've been my one and everything Darling, there's no one Could ever love you like I do Down through the years I know I've loved no one but you You've been my sunshine That comes up every morning You've been the bluebird That's on my windowsill Down through the years You know I've always needed you Down through the years I've loved you and I always will The sun goes down On Calvin County Neon lights From an old bear sign Shone through the window Out on the sidewalk As I walked in Just to pass the time 
I looked around Sat down at a table Ordered beef on rye And a glass of wine And through the door Came a little old lady She was selling paper roses And they only cost a dime Buy my roses Paper roses They're only paper roses And they only cost a dime Silver hair That's lost It's gold Trembling hands She passed the road Red gray paper Made nature's bouquet Help a little old lady Buy a rose today I took the rose from her trembling hand With eyes of age, she smiled and walked away Like a breath of spring, I could smell the rose It came alive I heard her say Buy my roses Paper roses They're only paper roses And they only cost a dime I went to look For her outside a spray of roses laid by her side The skies lit up and the choir sang A thousand voices and the church bells rang And they sang She sold you paper roses And they only cost a dime Have you seen the tears I've cried? As time and time to me you lied Can you feel the hurt and deep within my heart? Can you see these trembling hands? Will you ever understand what you've done? told me that you loved me true Said there was nothing you won't do To keep the love we have inside Burning bright But now you say you're leaving me And it's so hard for me to see That you'll be running to another
just one thing more I know you think you're going to make a brand new start Well maybe someday she will find you'll always be the cheating kind when it's too late for you and I sweetheart you told
Thank you. 